My name is Solimar Salas. I'm the Vice President for Museum Content and Programming at the Museum of Latin American Art. The Museum of Latin American Art, or MOLA as it's also known, it's a place for people to come and learn about Latin American art, Latinx art, and how it all combines. It's also a place to learn about our culture, as well as all the fine arts that we represent. MOLA was established in 1996 when it opened to the public. It was based in the personal collection of Dr. Robert Gumbiner, and it grew into what the museum is today, which is a more international perspective museum. Dr. Gumbiner was very passionate about Latin American art and the history and the aesthetic of it. He founded MOLA based on a place where he could also share his collection with the community. We have enlarged our collection to also include Latinx artists starting in 2014, which means we're a museum that keeps growing, it keeps changing and evolving. MOLA is located in Long Beach, California. We started off here. It was one of the properties that Dr. Gumbiner had and we expanded upon it. Part of the building that MOLA occupies right now in Long Beach was used to be the Balboa a movie studio. Right now it's become part of the square footage of MOLA where we can use it for special events, cultural events, where we welcome people to also interact with our art. We have five galleries where we can rotate exhibitions. We can present solo shows and collective presentations for artists. It's easy to navigate because it is one level only, so it's pretty straightforward. For each exhibition, MOLA changes the exhibition space. It's a continuing rotation of exhibitions. Colors on the walls will respond to the exhibition that we have in place, which is one of the ways that we can visually identify when we're switching exhibitions or switching spaces. We try to complement the wall colors to the exhibition so that the artwork can be more of the protagonist of the experience. As you walk through, you'll see if you come to MOLA this month, there'll be one color. If you come to MOLA in six months, they'll have completely changed because the exhibition demands it. And that allows us to give our visitors a different experience every time. MOLA currently has 1,300 artworks in its collection. We dedicate some of our gallery spaces to presenting rotating exhibitions inspired in our collection. We also have the Robert Gumbiner Sculpture Garden that also presents approximately 14 artworks on a permanent basis. And those can be also enjoyed through cultural events in the garden as well as any type of private event. My name is Gabriela Urtiaga. I am the chief curator at MOLA. We try to present a different kind of artworks and different ideas through the art. And it's for that you can find during uh, your visit at MOLA different artworks in different support, such as sculptors, paintings, murals, installations, contemporary view about art. And of course, you can see a SketchUp, pictures, a lot of experience you can find at MOLA. Our mission is to share knowledge and experience with our audience. And it's for that when we work directly with the artists, we try to create powerful dialogue between their artwork, but also the concept of the artwork, to try to understand the creative process of the artist, but also the message that the artist try to share with the audience through the art. We work directly with the artist. When we start to thinking about an exhibition and a retrospective, we try to create a specific place to tell stories through the art. And it's for that we work with our handlers, we work with resistors, we work with the artists and their teams. And a group of people is trying to present artwork and concept in a good way, in a new vision, to understand the artwork, the creative process of the artist, but also to connect with all of this beautiful and powerful piece. opportunity we have here the first retrospective of Shudi Baka and now you can see one of the most important paintings that she's talking about her family, her matriarchal heritage, her mother Shudi and her grandmother in this composition. You can see a powerful composition. One of the most important things is the message that the artist tried to connect in this 
powerful painting. She's talking about her personal history. He's talking about the power of women in this composition. We are in the second gallery of Judy Baca Memorias de Nuestra Tierra, all the public monument of Judy Baca. One of the particular pieces that is an installation, the name of this piece is Raspados Mojados. Judy tried to visibilize the story about immigration in the US. Mola always tries to be a platform for emerging artists who live and work here in Los Angeles. The artwork of Gabriela Sanchez. In her work, she mixed painting, photograph, and different technique to talk about Los Angeles and to talk about her family history. The idea is to be a platform for emerging artists to promote and also to continue to open a conversation with contemporary art. Shortly after the pandemic forced MOLA to close its doors, we quickly switched into online programming. We were able, through the funding sources that we received from grants, longtime supporters of MOLA and also new supporters of MOLA that came in with the COVID-19 opportunities, we were able to keep uh, our education programming online and provide online guided tours with our docent core. We're not going to let go of the online programming. It's opened up doors for MOLA in terms of reaching a wider audience, even in Southern California. We are very aware that the impact that we can have for Latinos, non-Latinos, Latin Americans, and any type of individual that wants to learn about that art, we are here for them. And we also pride ourselves in providing as much accessibility as we can for the public. So we welcome families, we welcome travelers, we welcome tourists, we welcome our community. And I think that's part of what we always strive for. The MOLA experience is directed towards giving you a moment of inspiration, a moment of reflection, of allowing you to travel to different areas, different lands, and see different perspectives so that you can enjoy a different narrative and you can you can learn a little bit more hopefully about yourself and your community. Mm -hmm.